And welcome to the screening room. I'm Russ Simmons. And I'm Sean Edwards. All right, we've got a couple movies to talk about, including one that could potentially be pretty controversial. So let's dive so. in, Russ. Yeah. Contemporary political divisions and paranoia at an uneasy edge to filmmaker Alex Garland's chilling speculative nightmare, Civil War. Kirsten Dunst is solid as a famed photojournalist who races with colleagues to get to Washington, D.C. before rebel forces attack the White House. And Kansas City native Stephen McKinley Henderson scores as an aging reporter. Sean, this extremely well-made and violent thriller doesn't make any political statements except to imply that our union may not be as secure as we think. Yeah, here's the deal, Russ. Civil War wasn't anything I was expecting it to be, but it's also much better than I expected. In many ways, it's a masterpiece. It's unflinching yet vague, violent, but also eerily quiet in spots. The film smartly stays away from taking sides or presenting a Democratic versus Republican narrative. I've never seen anything quite like it. It's an uneasy watch for sure. And on the surface, it's a cinematic love letter to combat journalists. Everyone involved is so believable, you almost forget you're watching a movie, and kudos to director Alex Garland for taking high-risk chances in delivering a stunning tour de force of a film that will push you into intellectual overdrive after the end credits. Yeah, I agree. I'm giving it four popcorn bags. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Four popcorn bags. But I think it was very smart the way it's presented. Mm -hmm. And it just opens it up for a lot of discussion and dialogue. But a great movie. Really strong be film. Be prepared to be disturbed. Yes. A La Camera is an acclaimed entry that blatantly screams Italian art house movie. It screams that very loudly. Yes, it does. In Alice War, uh, Rohr Walker's uh, cinematic fable, Josh O'Connor plays a troubled British archaeologist in Tuscany who joins with thieves to rob ancient graves. The, and they're looking for a fortune. He's looking for a route to the underworld <laughs> to reconnect with his dead lover. It's deliberately paced and it's rife with symbolism and it will appeal mainly to lovers of the avant-garde. Yeah, I have to agree. It, it is its own thing. It's, it's a film full of ideas and kinetic energy. It's eccentric, like you said, and very artsy. But more importantly, it's, it, it exists in its own space. Yeah. So can we call this like experimental cinema? You can. OK, sure. Three popcorn bags. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Three popcorn bags. And hey, the 28th annual Kansas City yes. Film Fest International runs through April 14th at the AMC Ward Parkway Theaters, featuring an extensive lineup of feature-length films and short films and panels, seminars, Q&As, a lot of good stuff. Info is available at kcfilmfest.org. And that's it for this week, guys. Yeah, make sure you check it out. There's a lot of really cool stuff, a lot of cool movies, and it's one of the best film festivals in the city. That's right. Yeah, in Civil War, definitely uh, piqued my interest, um, you know, because I thought it was, I didn't, the way you describe it is not the way I thought it was going to be. It's but, not. That's yeah. the fun part about it, though. And yeah. as a journalist, you should have an interesting perspective on this. Yes, you will. Yeah. All right. Pretty good stuff. Thanks a lot. You guys, Thank you. a lot to see this yep. weekend. And now, Abby's <laughs>